Good morning. So um, today, uh, I think we're moving on to a slightly different subject. I think I finished the import of snippets last time. So now, I guess, to look at my to-do list. Yeah, so I've done import. Let's complete that. Um, so we need to do export um, snippets on the GUI. Um, and we're kind of in process or in progress rather on the settings. So let's have a look. Let's see where we are. Um, all right. Uh, the back end daemon is working still. So let's just get the dev env up for the GUI. Okay, I'll just put that nice and small up here so it doesn't get in the way. Um, so I'll just bring it across here. So we've got a settings page where at the moment we can import snippets, um, but we also want to export as well. So I want to put basically another line here, uh, probably separated um, by just a space. Uh, a little bit of space um, and then we'll do um, an export uh, so that's the goal today um, and I think that's going to be it's going to be interesting actually because I don't have mm, no I think I've probably got most things in place in the da in the back end Damon to help with that but we'll have to see um, we might have to do some shenanigans to get things working there we'll see so uh, we don't need list snippets um, the main screen we're okay with it's the setting screen we're on and let's have a look Okay, here. All right, so what we're going to need is a couple of new texts. And we're going to have to have well, we could take all of that. This is just uh, setting up some translation strings we'll need for the links. So we will do Export snippets. Um, that's probably it actually there. And then error title, error exporting snippets. So we don't need a great deal there. Okay, we'll be using them in a minute. In fact, I'll just do a little quick little bit to reload here. So, okay. So on the actual screen, on this screen here, um, we have the back button, and then we have um, settings title. And then assuming we've actually got a connection to the back end, we start doing things like a title for import export. Um, and then we have the two icon buttons with text for the imports. So we basically want to do one another one of these. Just stick it at the end here. Actually, put it there, but we're going to want to have a graph around it to give it a little bit of space. So export snippets and then close off that paragraph. Um, so there must be 
We've got to find an icon. Let's see, um, see what we can find. Let's see if there's a if a file export makes sense. Okay. It's font awesome. Or something like that. Right, so change that to export. And then I'm going to need a new function for handle export snippets. And we won't need it. In fact, we can make this simpler here. We're not going to pass anything in because we're just going to export. Uh, the previous one it used um, handle import, um, whether you're going to do an update or not, uh, as you can see there. So and then we have the titles that we just made. So we've got export snippets and we just need the title. Okay. And then we need a function to call, which is going to be interesting because we haven't got anything yet. So let's just make it not die at the moment. We'll just um, put that back to import for the moment. And then I'll save that just to see where it is. Yes, OK. Export snippets. That looks OK. So, um, let's do this. And things are probably going to go a little bit wrong now because we haven't got a export function. We need to be async. Basic function act order. Let's just copy that. Export. And then we're going to need export snippets backend function to call. Don't need to pass in update. And then potentially we have an error. Um, and then regardless of whether we have an error or not, we'll just do a quick refetch the snippets just to make sure everything's how this should be actually we don't even need to do that do we no because we're not importing anything we're not changing the snippets so we'll leave that off for the moment it might be a nice point in time to okay just quickly refresh but We'll leave it as is. So we now have this, and it's probably going to go bang. It didn't, it didn't go too bad. Uh, but what we need now is to create an export snippets so that we can import it. Um, Okay, and these are in the wrong place. Where are they? Yeah, things are a little bit messed up here. Let's put them into the order that I prefer. So I prefer to have the components at the end. Uh, 
Um, and then we have Svelte stuff at the top. And then my custom code. But let's put that there, I think. Stuff provided by Wales. And then my custom code. Okay. Right. So we need a back end. So we've got this import snippets. So the import um, asks for a file. And then assuming you've got the file and it has some length to the file name, um, it tries to read it. And assuming there's something read, um, and then I'll see, does the sync options, um, to say whether you're going to update or not and then we do a sync i'll call it sync because at some point i do want to add the ability to say okay i want i want everything to match what i'm giving you so here's a file and i want you to delete snippets and everything and just like do that and or well, we've got the updates and stuff but of course at some point um uh, we might want a, an ability to sync between uh, machines as well. So we'll probably use this kind of setup then. Uh, it might need some work over time, but that's the plan to have machines syncing without having to use files. Um, so I think I can use a bunch of this. I just need to kind of rework it um obviously sync is not not going to be the case and we probably don't need yeah we might want a message dialog at the end as well so yeah so i think we can take most of this uh, and just change it up it's kind of the right pattern So we have import. Now we're going to have export snippets. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to need to do a save dialog instead of an open dialog. Uh, let's see what the options are to that. Dialog. Save file dialog. Opens a dialog that prompts the user to select a file name for the purpose of saving. Can be customized using save dialog options. And just like a open, it takes a context, 
then a dialog options, which is slightly different. Um, and it returns a selected file or error, which is exactly the same as um, open file there. Was an open multiple as well. That's good. And that returns a slice of file names. Uh, right, so save dialog options. Okay, what have we got? Directory default file name. Okay, that's handy. Um, title filters. Okay, same format. Uh, show hidden files. Can create directories. I can't use. Okay. And treat packages as directories. Okay, well that's definitely a Mac OS thing. Can create directories. How come I can't do that? Hmm. Okay. Maybe because I can and I can't turn it off. We'll see. Uh, right, so it's very similar to the open. Um, this time, though, I think probably I'll leave off the default directory at the moment. Um, but I do definitely want to do the default file name. Um, and then obviously title. File filters is going to be a bit strange, but yeah, I'll keep what I've got, I think, for that. We'll see how it goes. I'll leave the rest. All right, so default file name and title are definites I need to do. On save dialog options. Okay, I'll keep this uh, filter file name um, and title select For the moment, again, I probably need to do in um, translation stuff for this, but we'll come back to that. Um, I will leave off the default for the moment until I've got this working. So this is now a save file dialog. And options is okay for that. So in theory, we're going to get a file name back. If we get an error, we'll return it. If the length of the file name is less than six, then we know we've got an issue because it should be something.json. And we could just say, okay, they've aborted basically. Um, and then we're not reading, we are doing the opposite. We're going to eventually be writing, but we'll do it by the daemon. So I need, I'll just save that. Um, yeah, that's gonna do that. Maybe I'll close that off for the moment. Um, 
I need to see what I've done for export. So on the CLI. Yeah, so I grab a bunch of snippets. Oh, and I didn't. Okay, I did it there and then. I didn't do it in the daemon. Okay. Yeah, I suppose it doesn't need to go anywhere near the daemon. The daemon just needs to provide the snippets. Yeah, the desktop app was doing on the import, it was just reading the file and then saving the snippets. So yeah, it's the same thing, but in reverse. That's okay. Right, um, yeah, of course, version. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think the I don't think the GUI needs to support that. I think that's like a okay. If you need to export an old version format, you can do it for the daemon. Don't don't think the GUI needs to do it. Keep it simple. Um, so we're basically doing this after that. So let's take a copy of this. Okay, so we don't need sync. Place that in there. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Right. So this, this is just going to be a bit of a fail safe, but I don't intend to show the export unless we have, um, we have something to do, but we'll do this. So we get the snippets, um, and then Can't get them, we return the error. If the length of snippets is less than one, we say on the export, that's what we're doing, uh, nothing to export. We shouldn't ever be in this position, but just in case. Not doing versioning. But we do have a file in theory that we can write snippets to. And this is using a core package that I built previously to do the write of an export file. 
and it takes file name and then a slice of snippets, which is exactly what we get back from get snippets. We get back a slice of snippets. So in theory, that does the job. We don't really need that. We can make this super simple way. Uh, X, let's just do snippets exported. Snippets exported. That's really okay. All right, so let's double check what we've got going so far. On the export snippets, we do not need an update. Good job, we checked. Um, We are only exporting JSON. And create the filters array. So I slice. And then the save dialog options are going to be the title, which is select file name to export snippets to. Uh, and the type, which is purely JSON inf that's a good point, actually. No, it is. Oh, you can do multiples. Okay, so you can do different formats. Uh, so then we do the save dialog with those options to hopefully get a file name that we can use. Then we go, right, let's go get some snippets. Hmm. We could do this early. Let's do this early. Let's go, right, we don't have any snippets, so stop it. Um, yeah. Take that. And stick that right at the top because then we can bail out early without doing a file dialog. Okay, we have nothing to do. What are you doing? Then we come down here and we go right, okay, let's get the file that you want to export to. If we have a file name, we then do the export of the snippets. Um, and then we should really do an error thing there. If there's an error, return that and say it didn't work. Otherwise, just show a dialog to say it was OK. And return true without an error. OK. I'm just going to bring back up Wells Dev now that I've saved that off. So they all generate uh, all the bindings and the, tweaked the file name there. Uh, sorry, the function signature by taking out the update. So it needs to do that. And then in the settings screen, 
we should be able to do an export. Actually, let's just do it here. It's done the right thing. So handle export snippets, call the export snippets in the back end. Uh, it should get an OK back. That's the Boolean. If there's an error as the last as the last thing, uh, it'll be caught. We do the error message. OK, let's give that a go. Uh, okay, so it's going to be interesting because I haven't done the file name default yet. So let's see what happens. Okay, good. Yeah, so I can create folders and things. So I'm going to at some point I need to say, okay, where's the default downloads or maybe the home, maybe home. Mm, I have to look, uh, but we'll do downloads for the moment. Now I'm not going to do anything here. I'm going to leave it blank. Okay, so it won't let me save. That's good. So if I cancel, it just does nothing and returns. That's fine. If I instead. Um, Can I do, oh, it's going to be, why is it not, what's it going to do? If I just do Wibble, what's the file name we're going to get? Would it do JSON? Let's have a look. I'll just pop up there. No. Okay. Hmm. So Yeah. I kind of well, do I want to force a file name extension? I might have reason not to. Hmm. Uh, I don't want to open up with any gooey things. Let's just do it. Um, yeah. Okay, that looks good. Let's go the bits. And it's in the right order as well. Everything's alphabetical, which is the default for the export. Got the right version and the generator, which is fine. Okay, so it's looking good, um, but it would be nice to have a default file name. So in the um, in the CLI, I did that in the config. do nicely. Let's take that. Uh, 
has filters. Um, and for the default directory, did I do anything about that? No because it uses your local, because when you're using the CLI, you are in a directory and you want it there unless you specify otherwise. So it's it's a different different format, whereas with a GUI, you don't know what its working directory is um, and you want it basically to be using your home or downloads folder or something as the default. So I'm going to need to do something different there. I think, isn't there? Um, right, first of all, let's just test this. Just give that a quick test. But I think there might be a package, like a core package that gives you this kind of info. So that's fine. That's today's date. Uh, but I just want it. I think I might default to the home directory. Uh, but I'm going to use downloads. Okay. If I go back here, can I open it with something else? Hmm. I haven't configured any of that. Yep, same old. That's good. Okay. All right, let's go look at the packages. Uh, and uh, let's look at standard. Uh, why is that not showing me standard at the top? Hmm. You used to be able to do that. Okay, I want it's either going to be path or OS. Let's have a look in OS. There you go. All right, so I should be able to do OS 
use a home dyer. Did I have a downloads? Mm -hmm. Okay. Home will do. Gives you lots of options from there. So uh, let's just make sure I get the right thing here. So What's it return? String and error. Huh. Why? Why would it be error? Okay, now we don't need that to be export. I can do that. And then this can be that. Eventually an error. Uh, if uh, it's not equal to nil, then we'll just do We'll try this. Default dire is equal to an empty string, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so let's assume it's going to work for the first run. See what happens. That's good. So it should work now. I'm not going to do it. Um, and then I should have left that running. I'm just going to break this by making sure it. See, let's see what happens if it's always empty. I'm assuming it goes back to just using like the app's current. Yeah. So it's basically the working die. So that's fine. Okay, I think that's effectively job done. We have export working. Let's just give it a quick bash. Oh, let's uh, right, first of all do a quick run as is. Um, yeah, does it do a prompt? Yes, I'd like to replace that. Thank you very much. Good. Uh, if I let's say I want to do new folder uh, ripple of course ripple wobble because I already have a wibble file I want to create it in there uh, 
as fine. Good. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. I'm going to diff those two in a minute, actually. Make sure they're the same. Oh no, I generated that one with version um, the existing version, didn't I? So let's just check that. Hey. It was for the new. No new line. Huh. That's weird. We're using the same algorithm. This was done by the CLI, and this is done by the GUI. I think they're the same. It's obviously just complaining that it can't diff that for some reason. No, oh well. All right, we're done there. Uh, what else did I want to test? Okay, so we've got a file name by cancel, doesn't do anything. If I remove that, can't do it, that's good. Um, if If I let's say we're in here and the daemon goes away. Yep, we can't do an export. Let's remove all the snippets by removing the database. And this is where I need to put in the the check to say, hold on a minute, you can't do an export because there's nothing to export. So at the moment that's not in there. So if I try it, it just says nothing to export. There's nothing there. But I can import the file I created. Yep, and then we've got everything back. That's good. And now we can export. But I just won't. Okay, so really I should. Hide that. Um, so, okay, I think we're done with that. Dot go. And CLI, I can stay that we need that often. So, right then. I should probably refresh the snippets as I come in here to be safe. 
but you have to be careful. And I'll have to basically do this again. Or do I? Mm, if I'm in the snippets. Right, screen. could actually keep everything up to date in here. That's the main screen gets called. Mm. It doesn't use screen itself. It's like an orchestrator. Yeah, probably best not to move it into screen. It's only used for the jumping off point though. Keep it 
it's simple. Yeah, don't want to go too complicated here. Yeah, so when we come in here, so when we come into the settings, we will do a quick little uh, fetch. No, I do need, yeah, I do need to keep it up to date because we've got the import. Yes, okay. Right, we do need to steal from main. We need both of these bits. Because the import, because the export, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we'll do this. Now make sure the snippets are fetched once if connection is okay. And then much like in main, we just basically need to do this bit here. We need to go, okay, we've got a connection, so we can do an import but we can only do an export Oops. if we have snippets and the length is greater than zero. Have I got snippets? Oh yeah, I did the import, didn't I? <laughs> right, I'm going to leave that there. And then I'm going to... Hold on. Let's make it easier to see. Right. So we're going to kill the daemon. Both go away. We're going to remove the snippets and then we're going to bring back the daemon. And now export. And then if we do um, import. It comes back. Perfect. OK. And then if we kill it, both go away, bring it back. Both are there. Kill it. Uh, actually, what I'll do is I will completely kill it, move the daemon uh, snippets, bring back the daemon so it's empty from the word go. Okay, yeah. 
we can't even get to export now. And then we do an import. Show them and can export. That's great. That's fine. Nice and simple. Can't do it unless you've got something. That's fine. Job done. OK, that's export sorted. So let's commit that. going to test the uh, auto close. So we were doing this. I can now do In theory, see if it does the job. Yep, it's gone. It should have. There we go. And it's got a reference. Good stuff. All right. So um, the next thing to do is uh, set in screen, which we'll do next time is to kind of beef it up a little bit. There's a few things we need to do. Um, there's a couple of little settings uh, regarding, hmm, well, the autocomplete which we don't have uh, at the moment because I couldn't get it working. Um, and then what we do about yeah, I mean, I might even not even do that. So I have to have a think about that. But yeah, there's an option also where if you have something selected and then you hit the hotkey, it uses that as the search. Um, I may or may not be able to do that. We'll have to look and see. Um, at some point, I might have to start doing Seago code to hook into the uh, the GDK uh, libraries and just do it. But I don't really want to. I want to keep this a little bit more lightweight and decoupled. But we will see. So anyway, um, thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, you take care. Bye.